Welcome back to another edition of Wild Encounters. We're here in a jungle setting and a perfectly appropriate uh, for the Sulawesi forest turtle. I had to make sure I said that right. Was I close? Yes. All right. All right, so I'm here with Kathy. Uh, she is a senior herpetologist here. Tell us more about the Sulawesi forest turtle. Well, um, they are one of the most endangered turtle species in the world. Um, they are from the island of Sulawesi, which is one of the islands of Indonesia. Um, they live in uh, rivers and forests, spend half their time in the water and half the time on land. They're very secretive, so their natural history is not well understood. They were only identified as a species in 1995. Like, the Western scientific world wasn't really aware of their existence. Wow, so, so very rare, very secretive animal and an adorable baby one right here. Adorable We've done baby. well here on conservation here at Riverbank. We are getting started. Yeah, we um, we had three females, um, wild females, um, for several years and then got a male on loan from the Turtle Survival Alliance in um, 2011. And then 2016, we hatched our first baby. And we have this cute baby, and you told me just a minute ago, uh, it has kind of a serrated edge on its yeah, back and, an, and yeah. eventually loses that as it grows into an adult yeah. and mm -hmm. kind of changes its appearance. Tell us a little bit about the difference in appearance between the males and the females. Yeah, they, um, the, the genus for this turtle is Leucocephalon, and that means white head, and the males have a cream color, yellow colored head. It's very distinctive. They're a little bit larger than the females, but um, they're even though it stands out when you look at them in a picture, it's all about being cryptic and blending into their environment. So they would match in with light colored rocks in the river, leaves, you know, forests, debris, stuff like that. So great camouflage yeah. there. And, and like you said, potentially one of the most endangered turtles in the world mm -hmm. and conservation efforts here helping hopefully repopulate them in the wild. Well, yes, we're trying to do um, captive you know, breeding, and we also, the zoo also supports some um, biologists doing natural history research in Sulawesi, and which is much needed because there's not a lot of understanding about their natural history since they are so secretive. So once again, Riverbank Zoo here doing amazing conservation work to help a cute little baby turtle like this one, but then also the parents, uh, which are beautiful animals as well, continue to help repopulate an endangered species, which is the amazing kind of work that zoos like Riverbanks do. We'll see you next time.